is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Insurance Podcast, the three, two, one, three questions, two members, one association podcast. Today we have Nick Page from the the owner and founder of the Trainer Page. What's going on, Nick? What's up? How are you doing? Great. How are you? I'm doing great too. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah. So I'm 23. Um, I live in Long Island. You know, uh, I'm the owner of the Trainer Page. We're a private gym, and uh, you know, and you're my insurance broker, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So for everyone that doesn't know how this podcast works, we're going to ask our guest, Nick, three questions. Now, Nick, you will have up to one minute to answer each question. All right. You ready? Yes. So can you tell us what is your relationship or experience with the Hodgkin's lymphoma? So with Hodgkin's lymphoma, so my sister uh, was diagnosed with it in the beginning of the year, especially when COVID was just starting. Um, I was very, I've never really heard of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, Actually, I wasn't aware about it until I spoke to Craig and his experience with it, with his mom. Um, And then it kind of really brought more awareness to what it exactly what it was, you know, what it entailed and everything, Um, especially with COVID, it was really scary you know, very nerve wracking, but understanding more about the disease and, you know, uh, the whole recovery process, it gave me a little more hope, um, you know, that out of anything, thank God, you know, it was Hodgkin's as odd as, as, odd as that sounds. Um, but it was more of just, you know, kind of taking myself back and going like, oh my God, like, you know, my sister's going through this right now and having to deal with the chemotherapy and, you know, the treatment and just making sure she was mentally going to be oh, in a good spot because a lot of times the negativity can overcome and it's very scary and there's a lot of stress. And it's like, I just wanted to be there for her. And it kind of, you know, even put myself back to like, okay, like I'm here for my family at the end of it. So I want to support my sister as much as I can. Uh, absolutely. I mean, like you mentioned, my mother had it, she was diagnosed with it, went through the chemo, the radiation, and all, all you could do is as bystanders, give that support and that uh, um, team effort to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do and have the uh, back the back support. Um, what now? What exactly does the trainer page do? So our mission is basically to show people the mental benefits of working out um, before anything. So we are a private gym, we're a studio of style. So we run uh, classes like fitness classes as well as one-on-one personal training. And we're the only private gym on Long Island with like this 3D body scanner. But really our main thing is to show people how you need to actually have a shift in understanding that working out is meant to be for your mental health first and your mental state and, you know, your whole headspace and then the physical results will follow. So that's really our overall uh, mission because it overflows. Once you get into a routine, you get on track, you start feeling better mentally, then the body will follow. And then you feel more confident The anxiety, the depression goes down, you know, your insecurities will go down, you feel more confident and everything else just seems to improve um, having the foundation of working out. The problem was that we're trying to solve is a lot of people don't know actually how to work out the right way. So we wanted to create an upbeat and, you know, environment where we're focused on teaching people, but having it, making it as fun as possible, less stressful, and actually giving them an experience that's better than just going to your normal box gym and not knowing what to do and being stressed out and not getting any of those benefits. That's awesome. Now, question number three, do you use an independent broker for your insurance? And if so, what are your thoughts on their commitment to your business? Uh, Yes. So I work with Craig and uh, honestly, it's, was the simplest thing I could have done. Um, just the relationship I have with Craig now, if there's a problem, I can get it solved within seconds. Uh, especially at the time where I was trained, I was going through a whole partnership thing. And actually my, I was working with a company that I had no relationship with. I didn't even know who the people were. I would just go there and give them a check. I don't even know what for with the policies and stuff. Craig labeled it as everything out explained every single little thing there was no questions no hesitation and it was a one two three easy process and i know as my company grows and what i need more of craig already knows what i need and uh i can trust him no matter what so that's the it's the simple it makes it the easiest possible for me and my business thanks nick well that does conclude the episode um of the three two one insurance podcast don't miss out on the next episode next week And uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Of course. Thanks for having me. Thank you.